no respect in this house. No respect in this house. Respect is important to men. Oh. Say, what is it? I will not say, I will not want. We are one but hey, what feeds him is respect. What else does he want? After how many years? He will continue to like respect too, because he's been wired to like respect. That's how he's wired. He will continue to cherish people that respect him. He will continue. That's how he's wired. That is the mumu button of men. <laughs> Respect him. He said, but pastor, I'm more intelligent than him. That is you. That is your judgment. God saw that you are more intelligent and God gave you him. Respect him. Honor him. Honor him with all your heart. If you can't honor a man, don't marry the man. Praise God. I know time is running faster, but we see we have to do this. Praise God. Let's see the next verse quickly as we close. The next verse. Consider the example that Jesus, the anointed one, has set before us. Let this mind become your what? Your motivation. What's our motivation? Selflessness. Consideration of other people's interests. Let me quickly, as I'm rounding up, even if you have vision, if your vision is not people-oriented, there's no guarantee that that vision can enjoy lasting success. There's no guarantee. If you set up a business and all you are thinking about is how to make money to pay your personal bills, if you're not thinking beyond yourself, that business cannot enjoy lasting success. So I wrote down in my note, we have been taught that vision is a springboard of success. All of us have been taught like that. But it's not just any kind of vision, no. Vision born out of love for people will attract provision, and prudence, prudent management of provision will bring back to, we give back to lasting success. What I'm saying is that it's not just about having vision. It's your vision born out of the love you have for people. Huh? Hello? Henry Ford said he started automobile company because he wanted all Americans to own a car. That's no longer about him. That has, that's bigger than him. And before they not start a, corporate, a motor, automobile industry and say, I, I want to be rich. That is self-centeredness. You are going to be rich, but let it be people-focused, people-oriented. Are you following me? The moment is people-focused, it will succeed and it will be lasting success. So how do we come into that level where you love God, sorry, you love God, you love people, you love yourself? How do you come to that level? You have to feed all these things. If you love yourself, feed your love for yourself. If you love God, feed your love for God. If you love people, feed your love for people. Demonstrate it from time to time. Show love to people that don't even deserve it. Demonstrate it from time to time that you give to other people. Those are, that's how to feed the love you have for people. Feed the love you have for yourself. Feed the love you have for God. And starve the love you have for money to death. Because the love of money is competing with the love of people. People are telling you that, ah, are you crazy? This is our chance. Our family has never had this kind of political position before. Ah, four years will soon go. You have to do something for us too. There's no other people are not going to say things like that. But you know, that's the love of the money. That's the love of material things. But the love for the people, the love for the people. The day Nigeria we have a new leader that loves us, you will see what will happen. We've not had, we've never had, to, with all respect to our leaders. The day we have a president who loves us genuinely, you will see what you will see. All this bulletproof car, you will not see it. Ah, uh, you will not see it. All this lavish, uh, bogus allowance, you will not see it. You will not see it. Are you following what I'm saying? Huh? The first 20 years of this church, I was always the last person to be paid salary. The first 20 years. Because we're really struggling. I'm sorry, the first 15 years. We're really struggling. We pay from the bottom. So once you're a guy, you cannot expect your salary on time. You know, in some places, you pay from top. 
and pay down. Here we pay from bottom, we pay up. And it was deliberate. Because you see, sometimes every one of us love ourselves so much that we don't even care about other people. And you can think so much of yourself that you never consider anybody, anybody. This church, our salary scale, with all respect, beats some big ministry salary scale. Because I believe people can't be working and not be taken care of. Are you following what I'm saying? So if you are, if you are, if you are an employer here, you will pay your staff, even when you have not been paid. If you want God to bless that company beyond you, you will consider the welfare of your staff as very important, just like your welfare. I pray for somebody here. May God give you a large heart. Amen. I said, may God give you a large heart. Amen. May your vision be people-oriented. May you never have a vision that is just about you alone. Amen. May your vision be bigger than you. Amen. You're not saying amen at all. Amen. May your goal be bigger than you. May everything you desire to become be more about others than it's about you. Amen. You know why God blessed Les Brown? Les Brown shared the story how his mother was, Les Brown is an adopted son. His mother was very poor. And they used to go and, his mother was a cleaner. And Les Brown would follow his mother to go and clean rich people's house. And they would be trekking in rich neighborhood. And Les Brown as a child, he kept saying, one day I want to buy a home for my mother. One day I want to buy a home for my mother. What, he was saying it as a poor son. And today he bought a home for his mother. He's wealthy. Sometimes your prayer point must be bigger than you before God will listen. Sometimes your prayer point must be what? Bigger than you. More beyond your own interest. Then God will say, okay, let me listen to him. Stand up on your feet. I'd like you to pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. Let your love fill my heart. Let people look at my life and say I'm love personified. We are building a community of blessed people. Lord, help me to be a part of that community. It is community of united people that becomes community of blessed people. Lord, let your love fill our church, fill our heart, fill our community, fill our congregation, fill our country. Let your love fill our heart. Lord, start with me. In the area of the unity of this country, Lord, start with me. Let our country be united again. With one purpose. With one language. With one heart. Pray from the bottom of your heart. If you are finding it difficult to forgive somebody, pray for that person in this atmosphere. Pray for that boss who oppressed you. Pray for that stepfather who oppressed you. Pray for that stepmother who oppressed you. Pray for that person that you've been finding difficult to love this morning. Then throw up your hands and say, Lord, let your love fill my heart. Your agape love, your unconditional love. Let it fill my heart. I love you, Lord. Let your love overflow from my heart. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. A wise man said, Respect is one of the greatest expressions of love. I like you to pray to and say, Lord, help me to respect other people's opinion. Help me to respect what other people are saying, even if it is nonsense. Help me to give consideration to other people's interests. Help me to be selfless. Help me to be to walk selfless. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Stretch your hands towards this altar this morning. All eyes are closed, all legs are bowed. Every nature of hatred. Because some people just can't love. There's a, there's a satanic hold. Every satanic hold on your life that won't allow you to love other people. I command that satanic hold broken out of your life. <laughs> Everything fueling bitterness in your heart. I command them to die natural death here. <laughs> Everyone watching online, those who are on site, I decree and declare today, let the love of God the supernatural love of God, the agape love, the unconditional love. Let that love fill your heart until it overflows. Yeah. Let loving people become natural with you. Yeah. 
loving yourself becomes natural with you. Loving God becomes natural with you. As you walk in love, I declare in the name of Jesus, that's where the Lord will command his blessings. Everyone who step into a season of loving people tonight, today, and say, look, from today I'll begin to show love and demonstrate love to those who even don't deserve it. I command and declare in the name of Jesus, this season will be your season of blessing. I said, this season will be your season of blessings. This season will be your season of blessings. Whatever prayer point in your life, you've been asking God to do, you've been on it for so long, I command and declare, today God will make a way for you. Where it seems there is no way, God will make a way for you. Where it seems there is no way, God will make a way for you. I prophesy over every family suffering from lack of love, lack of unity. I command God to heal your home. I command every company suffering that disunity. I command God to heal that company. The country, Nigeria, suffering it. I command God to heal our land. Lord, heal our land. Lord, heal our land. We pray, Lord, for unity in this country. We pray that the love of God will be shed abroad in our hearts all over the country. In all the six geopolitical zones. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we want to see days when the Awusas and the, and the Yorubas and the Igbos, there will not be difference. Lord, let that time come in the name of Jesus. A brother standing against brother, let it end in this nation. Sister standing against sister, let it end in this nation. Community standing against community. Let's say, let's stand in this nation. Let the love of God fill our camps and our communities. We pray for our leaders. Let your love fill their hearts. Let the love for the people fill their hearts. Every form of oppression going on in this country, we command it to come to an end. I decree and declare, everyone that will say amen to this prayer, you will never find it difficult to walk in love. Because he that is born of God, love it. Because you are born of God, love will be in your DNA. Love will be natural with you. And as you begin to walk in love, naturally I command God's blessing like you have never seen it before. It will overflow your house. Your cup will run over. Your basket will run over. I said you will enjoy overflowing blessings. So shall it be. Wave your hands and give him all the glory and all the praise. Appreciate God from the bottom of your heart. Worshiping. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed.